You mentioned Haaland lives here. So, I've been lucky enough to visit some of the most amazing football pitches all over the world. But in the UK, this is the pitch that I use. There's lots of mole hills, old goalposts, it really doesn't have too much going for it. So in this video, I'm on a mission to visit the coolest, most unique and the most interesting football pitches in the UK and really see what this country has to offer. Right, so first things first, I'm going to do some research and try and find out what Google says is the best pitch in the UK. What is the best football pitch in the UK? See, at the minute it's just coming up with stadiums, which isn't too helpful. Um, yeah, this isn't very helpful. Let's try changing the word best, coolest. Once again, not really helped. Most unique football pitches, UK. No. All right, this is gonna be harder than I thought to find something. Either England has no interest in football pitches, or I'm just gonna to have to look a bit harder than this. Eventually, I came up with a short list. Let's go find them. Right, so I'm at the first pitch we're gonna check out in this video. It's on grass. So this may look like I'm standing in the middle of an empty field, but this right here is actually the spiritual home of Sunday League football. Check it out. This is Hackney Marsh's football pitches, the most iconic Sunday league venue in the world. So these might not be the most beautiful pitches in the world or the most unique, but I think it's important to mention in this video because Sunday league football culture is massive in the UK and Hackney Marsh's plays a pivotal role in all of that. First thing to mention would be for a Sunday league pitch, the playing surface is actually pretty good. I have never seen so many football goals in my life. This is crazy. There must be hundreds out here. These pitches were built in 1946, following the end of World War II, using rubble from the Blitz. During its peak in the 1960s, there were 120 full-size football pitches side by side, where over 2,500 footballers would play every weekend. Many pro players such as David Beckham, John Terry and World Cup winner Bobby Moore have played here as kids, so it's seen its fair share of footballing talent over the years. And now it's seen me. Nike and Adidas have also used this area for commercials, including one with the man himself, Lionel Messi, where he was actually supposed to join in with a game of Sunday League football, but it was quickly called off after he was mobbed by fans. Nowadays, there's not quite as many pitches, but it's still super impressive to look at. That's the first pitch done. A lot of history at this pitch. The next ones just get cooler and cooler. Let's check them out. I then headed to the Cruyff Courts, which are dotted around London. These offer a really nice urban pitch and are very well maintained and most importantly free to play on. This one also has some pretty cool graffiti going on and these are the perfect size to do some training and perfect your skills. Now this next pitch I included in the list just because of this one really cool feature it has. So this pitch might not look like much now, but if you pan the camera up a little bit, you can see it's got a pretty nice view. I tell you what, it is really weird to have this football pitch in central, central London. The shard is literally just there whilst you're playing. It's pretty cool. There's not many pictures like this in the UK, for sure. Crossbar. So the surface and everything isn't particularly amazing about this pitch, but it's certainly unique. On to the next one. Now, just when I thought that this shard view pitch was cool, I saw this pitch in Dubai with a view of the Burj Khalifa, and it quickly made me realize that maybe England is a few levels below some other cities when it comes to our football pitches. <laughs> Right, so now we have the big one. There's been a lot of hype around this pitch on social media. And finally, I'm gonna check it out, but it's not gonna be easy. So this pitch is located in an apartment complex in the middle of central Manchester. And a lot of very, very famous footballers live there. So, so it's very, very exclusive. But luckily, I know someone who lives there. So I packed my bags and headed to Manchester. Manchester, one of the biggest footballing cities in the world, home of Manchester United, Man City, Oasis, and now potentially the coolest football pitch in the UK. Located in Angel Gardens, this pitch was built in 2016 and has been getting a lot of hype on social media. 
I made my way through Manchester and met up with my friend John, who currently lives inside the building, and he showed me what the pitch looked like from the street. So the pitch is just there, as you can see. He took me inside the apartment complex, which was incredibly nice, and we headed up to the games pitch in a lift, which is something I've never done before to get to a football pitch. As you can see, the entrance to this pitch was certainly unique. It's like an amazing entrance to a football pitch, isn't it? <laughs> then we headed outside to the rooftop terrace. This was a really nice space, especially in the summer, it would be amazing. And then we got to the pitch. At least there. Boom. Wow. Here we are on probably the most unique football pitch in the UK. Boots on. This pitch is so sick. In the summer, they apparently have music and chairs out there. Everyone's just chilling while football's going on here. I bet in the middle of summer, this would be insane. Rooftop football. Wow. What is this? That little rebounder at the pitch. Look at that. That net could do with some TLC, honestly. Let's just get the ball out and play on here because this is so sick. The music just adds to the vibe as well, to be fair. I feel like you're on holiday now. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> in the summer, it also feels like you're in like a video game. John just described it best then, it feels like a FIFA Street location with the music on in the background. These speakers were all over the roof terrace playing cool, chilled out music. And as I said, it really feels like you were playing in FIFA Street. Such a cool vibe. Oh, sure. So I started off by trying a few skills, but something fell off. Never done. This, is this ball weird? Or is that just me? Maybe it's the one I use. It's the vertigo on the pitch. It's, like, it's the one I use. <laughs> I'm getting nervous because the pitch is so high. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is better. I'm alright. I actually feel like weird doing keep ups up here. You ready? Oh. I feel like we picked the worst day to do this because it's so windy, but we're going to power through. Take a moment to look at these crossbars. I have never seen a crossbar so battered in my life. Whoever plays here must hit the ball bloody hard. So the reason I'm able to access this amazing pitch is because John lives in this apartment, right? Yes. <laughs> so only residents can play on this pitch. Yeah, that's why it's so hard to get to because you have to live here. So, and there's actually a few footballers that live here. You mentioned Harland lives here. Harland lives here, Alvarez lives here, Donny van der Beek. This is the best way to show off how cool this pitch is, is from the sky, so let's do it. Have you ever seen Haaland on this pitch or anywhere? No, I've not seen him on this pitch. I've seen his dad quite a few times. Um, seen Danny van der Beek knocking about. Yeah, that's right, Haaland. Haaland could be watching us right now. Right from somewhere. <laughs> Probably in the penthouse up there. Watching yeah. us. <laughs> Thankfully, it's got a net because if not, I mean, there'd be balls flying off here. This is insane. So yeah, not only is this pitch super unique, it's also super, super exclusive as well. It really does feel like you're in a FIFA Street game being on this pitch. It feels like a location on FIFA Street, which is really cool because I've never seen anything like this. So I'm going to insert some shots of what this pitch looks like at night. Imagine this is your local five-a-side pitch. That's just great. <laughs> Should start a league. Yeah. <laughs> well, John, thanks for inviting me down, mate. Really appreciate it.